Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday, May 27th, and I'm gonna take you through my day today. Usually I meal prep all on Sundays, but I have a long day tomorrow with some deadlines that I have to meet, and I don't wanna cut it too close, so I'm going to start a little bit of my meal prep today, and that is something you guys can 100% do if you're busy on Sunday or you just wanna split up your meal prep. You can cook some things on Saturday and then finish up everything on Sunday. So today what I'm gonna be doing is making my rice, my quinoa, and probably salsa chicken. And then tomorrow I'm gonna make a different preparation of chicken. We're doing barbecue chicken in the crock pot and make shredded like barbecue, barbecue um, chicken like sliders with my coleslaw on top. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna go catch a workout. I'm gonna take you through it and uh, yeah, come along for the ride. Done with the gym, done with like our whole Saturday. It's kind of late, what time is it? Nine o'clock. But we are going to meal prep a couple things to make tomorrow easier because we have a lot going on tomorrow. So now I'm gonna get started on my salsa chicken. Babe. Okay, salsa chicken. If you guys haven't seen it on my Insta story, I will show you here. And all of these recipes I will put in the description box so you can go there instead of watching the whole video when you're ready to make. So we put the raw chicken breast unseasoned down the bottom. We are gonna season it with our fajita seasoning and the jerk seasoning. top on and cook it on high for about three to three and a half hours. If you want it more shredded, then I would do the full four hours, but we like it kind of chopped instead of completely shredded. So we're gonna do it for about three to three and a half. I'll check it at three. We're gonna let the salsa chicken go. We are gonna make the coleslaw tonight, just get that out of the way. So tomorrow, which is a really busy day, that'll be done. So in this bowl. together and it looks so good it's like wet but not too wet it's so good tomorrow I'll taste it and then add a little bit more salt and pepper if I need but I'm gonna put this in a Tupperware my rice is actually done so we made all this rice for us for the week so now tomorrow I don't have to worry about the rice I don't have to worry about the coleslaw Salsa chicken will be done in about two and a half hours. So I'm gonna go lay down in bed and I will catch you guys tomorrow for the whole rest of the meal prep. It's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna do the barbecue chicken in the crock pot. I'm gonna do my Mediterranean, Mediterranean quinoa bowl with chickpeas, roasted red peppers. We're gonna do broccoli. And then Brian is going to have um, some chicken and sweet potatoes and broccoli and you'll see it all tomorrow. So I'll catch you tomorrow.
Good morning guys, breakfast is done. Now we are on our way to the gym, it is leg day. I'm not gonna take you guys with me because we have such a busy day today. So I will catch you back for our meal prep. Hey guys, we are home from the gym and we are starting our meal prep. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is get the uh, barbecue chicken started. Couldn't find Walden Farms barbecue sauce. No grocery store had it. So we were searching. I have this Jim and Nick's barbecue. Macros are five grams of carbs, but I'm just gonna use a little bit. I also bought Grill Mates barbecue seasoning to kind of help out the flavor. Um, I'm really bummed. If you can find the Walden Farms barbecue sauce, get it. The amount of carbs that we're gonna actually be eating from this won't be anything. I just was trying to get, you know, no carbs. But anyway, chicken down the crock pot, and we are gonna season. because I love seasoning. Just, you know, there you go. I'm gonna set it for four hours. I'm gonna get the sweet potatoes out, start to cut them. I will show you what I do. So Brian is cutting the sweet potatoes right now for me. He's helping me out. He's just chopping them up in little cubes. About that big. They're freaking perfect. Good job, babe. We get this white organic quinoa from Trader Joe's. I am doing two cups of quinoa, so that is four cups of liquid. I boil it in chicken stock to infuse more flavor. 10 to 15 minutes for the quinoa. I'm gonna let that go and boil. We are going to start cutting the uh, sweet potatoes. All right, so Brian cut all of the sweet potatoes in like little chunks like this, put them all on a baking sheet, and now I'm gonna do my butternut squash. I buy them pre-chopped, so all I have to do is cut the tops off and pour. Okay, I season my sweet potatoes and my butternut squash the same way. So first, spray with cooking spray because you want the seasoning to stick on to the potatoes and the squash. If you have been following me long enough, you know the weight of my heart is taco or fajita seasoning. Paprika. Not spicy, just adds a little bit of smokiness. Salt and pepper. Totally living that clip in there because this is real fucking life and that sucked. There's salt all over the floor, but that's okay. So I had to pick up all the sweet potato or all the butternut squash, put them in a bowl, throw out, whatever. We're gonna go with um, this salt because it's safe. Toss with your hands, those are the best tools to get in there. Sweet potatoes and butternut squash both go in the oven at 450. Sweet potatoes take about 20 to 30 minutes. I will check them at 20 minutes by poking them with a fork, seeing if they're done. And the butternut squash takes about 15 to 20. Same deal at 15 minutes. Open up the oven, snap it with a fork, see where it's at. All right, so now I'm gonna get my chicken ready for my Mediterranean chicken bowl. I have this garlic, lemon, and herb seasoning that I found at my local grocery store, but it is like a Florida local seasoning, but Mrs. Dash has great um, lemon garlic, so it is Flavor God. We get these broccoli florets in a bag and I'm gonna show you a way to steam them in minutes and you don't even have to do anything. Watch this. Take a fork and you just stab it once until you puncture the bag. Upside down for three minutes. It comes out like this, perfectly, perfectly green and steamed. So the chicken is all done for the Mediterranean chicken bowl, so easy. So we got the sweet potatoes and the butternut squash just about done. I'm gonna check them in about three minutes. So I'll let you see what it looks like when they come out. Yep, perfectly done at 15 minutes. 
my dog is a pit bull who like, you know, needs to hold down the fort, so excuse her. But the sweet potatoes, as soon as those are done, I can start to put together my meals. So I will show you as soon as those come out. Poke them. Would focus, yeah, there we go, perfect. So I'm gonna let these cool. What I do is I set up all of my food like that in the background and I get it all ready for my assembly line. So when everything is done cooking, I get my tubwares lined up, I put my scale next to it, and I just go and make one day at a time. So basically my biggest meal prep tips are to prioritize your time in the kitchen and when you're developing a menu, think about the cooking time and how you're gonna cook those ingredients. So like I said, I cook everything at 450, which makes it very easy. The sweet potatoes and the butternut squash cook together in the oven. I set a timer and I forget it. When my stuff is in the oven, that's when I will work on the stove top. That's when I will get my rice going, my quinoa going, get my chicken that I wanna cook on the stove top done. So when I can't do anything with the oven, when that's occupied, I move to the stove top. It's really, really simple. Meal prepping does not have to be hard. I'm making a Mediterranean quinoa bowl that yes, it has a lot of ingredients, but I only really have to make two things, the chicken to put on top and the quinoa. The chickpeas you drain and rinse, the roasted red peppers I buy in a jar, the feta cheese comes you know, in a package. So it's such a tasty, like, you know, it looks like a meal when people see it at my job they're like oh my god where did you order out from and i'm like nope i made this and they think like that took all day long but i boiled some quinoa and put some chicken on the stove it doesn't have to be as hard as you make it out to be so i'm going to put my assembly line together then take you guys through how i prep all of my meals in the tubware hey guys so i am now ready to put together my mediterranean quinoa bowl so what i did was I have my Tupperwares all right here, ready to go. I bought these on Amazon. They are Fit Packer brand. Um, they're kind of cheap. They come apart if you can see, but they do the job and they come in bulk. So, got my scale and then I have all of my ingredients all ready to go. So I'm gonna put the rest of these together. I'm gonna show Insta Story because I can't forget about my Insta Story folks. And I will show you how I put together my other meal of the barbecue chicken and sweet potatoes with my coleslaw. This is what the quinoa bowls came out like. So much volume, so good. So now I have my assembly line ready for my barbecue chicken meal with sweet potatoes, butternut squash, and my coleslaw. That's a big bowl of squash and potatoes, but I'm a hungry girl and when I mix the squash and the potatoes, they're seasoned the same way, so I just get more volume with butternut squash. It is so much lower carb than sweet potato, so if you are a hungry person like me, start to you know mix them up so you can eat more. I'm all about volume, and that is a lot of potatoes and squash. I said I'm moving too far. It's been an hour and my chicken is done. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna take it out and put it in a tubware and shred it all up. So it is shredded cold chicken. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Looking at a shooting. Bailey smells it. Bailey! Oh. What is that, Bailey? It smells so good. So, remember, when I talked about the barbecue sauce and how it had five grams of carbs and I was bummed. Okay, 
there's no carbs on this so don't worry if you're watching closely to your macros like if you're a bikini prep or you're like seriously trying to lose and you want to hit your macros perfectly I suffer from that I'm kind of anal in that department I always want to hit I like to see my numbers exactly every day but if you're being a little flexible drizzling some barbecue sauce which Brian will do drizzling some barbecue sauce on this is not going to do anything to your physique I am in the top with a little bit more of the barbecue seasoning yeah. One day YouTube will have smell vision That's the next thing, YouTube. I'm gonna ladle some of this sauce over the chicken. So, got my assembly line all ready. Everything is seasoned, ready to go. Have my slaw here. Put the chicken on the scale, zero it out and then I'm just going to take what I need. So for lunches, I have three ounces. Dinners, I have two ounces. I'm gonna season my uh, Tupperwares with a little bit more of the barbecue. I said I'm moving too far. So another little trick that I have, I have these little post-its. I put Monday lunch, Tuesday dinner, that kind of thing. So when I grab it out of the fridge, I know exactly what I'm eating. I know the macros are legit. So I'm gonna do that for these meals right now. Now I'm going to top the chicken with the coleslaw. So these are my meals with the barbecue pulled chicken, coleslaw, and sweet potatoes and butternut squash. Huge meals. This one is missing a little bit of butternut squash, but I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. I have the day off, so I'm gonna make it fresh because I did one out because I'm a slacker, but they look so good. We are gonna do Brian's sliders. Now you could totally have one of these on Memorial Day if you have a little higher macros. If you want to cut down on the sweet potatoes and have the slider, you could do that. So, up next, sliders. Done. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of him. We're done. Look and see what we did today. My meals, my barbecue chicken, coleslaw, sweet potato butternut squash meal. Brian has a rice salsa chicken and broccoli meal all the way down there. And then I have my Mediterranean quinoa bowl, yum. And then Brian has his sweet potato and pulled chicken sliders. Yum. So I hope you guys learned something today. How to make meal prep easy in just a few hours. If you need to split it up, if you don't want to cook all day on Sunday, you can make things like rice and quinoa, even the um, barbecue chicken or salsa chicken in the crock pot on Saturday instead. Um, Cook everything in the oven at the same temperature. 450 is my go-to temperature. Sweet potatoes, butternut squash, veggies. Steam veggies in the microwave. When you're cooking stuff in the oven, think about what you can cook on the stove top to kill two birds with one stone. All recipes will be down in the description box below. Please like the video if you liked the recipes, if you learned something, comment. I answer all comments. I love your guys' comments. And please subscribe, it means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, thanks for meal prepping with me and I will see you guys next week. Bye!